Ladies and gentlemen, things are absolutely out of control. The U.S. Capitol has been locked down. Vice President Mike Pence has been evacuated. Protesters are in the Capitol building right now. There are accusations about Mike Pence going around. Mike Pence has uh, said he will not block Joe Biden's Electoral College victory. A lot is happening right now. Donald Trump just gave a speech. There were almost 500,000 people watching on right side broadcasting. It is a lot. There is a lot of moving parts. I am literally looking at my television right now. I am looking at Twitter, and it is a a moving situation. So first things first, let's look at this. Breaking Vice uh, Vice President Pence was just quickly escorted uh, out. U.S. Capitol is on lockdown, Senate sources tell me. We have video of uh, protesters have entered the Capitol. People are fed up. Now, to be clear, I do not support any violence towards uh, law enforcement or anyone else. I do not think that is the answer. What I will say is people are finally tired of seeing what has happened. And the left and the mainstream media have bent over with the Black Lives Matter and the Antifa burning of buildings down and looting and protesting. They are they are so scared of that. And now... Trump supporters have finally hit their breaking point, and it doesn't justify their actions at all, and I will not justify it. I absolutely 100% disavow the actions of anybody that is, um, you know, creating violence and threatening violence or anything like that. We the people are tired of what's going on, though, and that needs to be noted. Now, Lynn Wood is out here just making absolutely insane accusations towards Mike Pence. I I am, wow. Um, I don't know what to think about that. There is just so much going on right now. Donald Trump gave a speech earlier, said, we will not concede. He straight up said it. And again, there were 500,000 people watching just on right side broadcasting. There are people all over the Capitol right now. Um, I mean, my, this is so, again, people have continued to try to follow me, um, on this account. This is just a locked account that I follow for news. Um, I I may unlock it at some point, but, um, not right now. Anyway, Trump just tweets, Mike Pence didn't have the courage to do what should have been done to protect our country and our constitution, giving states a chance to certify a corrected, uh, set of facts, Uh, not the fraudulent or inaccurate ones which they were asked to previously certify. USA demands the truth. Woo! Things are getting pretty crazy, ladies and gentlemen. And I don't know. I, I don't know what to think right now. Uh, if Trump is out here tweeting, he's angry at Mike Pence. I'm looking at this sea of Trump supporters. An absolute sea of Trump supporters right now that are outside of the Capitol building. Yeah, there's some things right here on my feed that are just disturbing. Um, Capital is literally being broken into. We're under siege. Wow. This is some pretty scary stuff, man. And again, I I do not. I do not support anybody going and, and creating violence at all. Um, breaking House and Senate have just gaveled out due to the security threat from pro-Trump protesters. Woof. Wow. Um, we've got Congressman Johnson objects to the Electoral College submission of Arizona. Man, it, it is a very, very insane situation we find ourselves in. Right here, we have protesters in the Capitol building. I don't know what to think. I really don't. Um, what I do know is is that we are dealing with unprecedented, uh, an unprecedented situation right here. Um, people are demanding of the truth right now, and they are, they are losing it right now. They're losing their minds. And we have seen uh, Antifa and Black Lives Matter continue to destroy cities across the United States. And then they get the media that protects them because they fear them. And then you have law-abiding Trump supporters that are literally watching, in their opinion, elections being stolen from them. Now, what actually has happened 
remains to be seen. I firmly stand with Donald Trump. I do not stand with anyone creating any violence right now. The Capitol building has been locked down, but the, the reality of the situation is this. Politicians work for us. Politicians work for the people. And when the people are demanding answers and transparency, the people need to be treated with respect. And a lot of people feel like they are not being treated with respect. We're going to continue to see how this all plays out. But here's what I do support. I support Donald J. Trump. I support our brave men and women of law enforcement because you may not like what results are happening in this election, and I totally understand that, but these are family men and family women that are there to keep the peace, and if you're out there and you're making their job more difficult, you are part of the problem. I Firmly stand with our law enforcement and our president, Donald Trump. I do not stand with the corrupt politicians, whether that be the Democrats or the establishment Republicans. I do not stand with them at all. I stand with my great president, and I will continue to support him. But you have to support him in a smart way. Um, and being threatening, of, threatening with violence or uh, destruction of property is not the way to go. So I hope everyone stays safe. It is a crazy scenario we're looking at right now. You guys have a great day. Thank you very much for checking out this video, and we will talk to you later.